Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you three things you can do with your Amazon Alexa and something called IFTT, I -F -T -T -T, which stands for If This Then That. And this will hopefully make your life just a little bit easier and create more functionality with your Alexa. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to teach you is how to uh, trigger your phone. First I'm going to say, Alexa, trigger my phone. Sending that to IFT. And you see the phone call coming through. But my phone's on silent, so did that really work? I'm going to answer the phone, I'm going to hang up. Then I'm going to say, Alexa, trigger phone volume. Sending that to IFT. And now my phone's no longer on silent mode, and I can say, Alexa, trigger my phone. Sending that to IFT. And now my phone rings at full volume. And now my phone rings at full volume. I answered it. I'm going to hang up now. I found my phone. Yay. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to enable that. The next thing I'm going to show you is a list of all the songs I've played on Amazon Echo Alexa on my Google Sheets. It's got all of the date and time stamps on it. Well, it's got a date stamp on everything. Oh, yes. Date and time stamp on everything. It's got the um, artist, the name of the song, and even the album. So let's so what it does is you can play a song on Alexa. It can be any source that you have going right now, which is Amazon Prime or Pandora or Spotify or anything. And it will keep a record in Google Sheets of every song you've listened to. So I'm going to say, Alexa, play Only Girl. Playing the Only Girl from your library. And you see, it got added to my spreadsheet. Alexa, stop. So I hope you found that useful. So sometimes you're listening to music and you're like, hey, what was that last song? So you can just look at it on your Google Sheet. And last but not least, I'm going to find out what's on my shopping list. Alexa, what's on my shopping list? You have two items on your shopping list. Milk, bread. Okay, great. Now it's gonna send me an email that tells me what's on my shopping list right here and here's and here's what's on my shopping list so I'm gonna show you how to do these three things with Alexa and IFT before this video I created an account on IFT and I'll link to that below I'll link to the app that you need to download below as well but on my phone here you'll see it's called IFTTT I will just touch that and and you'll see you know, recommended applets, all sorts of great stuff here. So I'll show you how to enable these three functions on your phone right now. So I'm going to do a search and I'm going to search for Amazon Alexa. And you've got everything is, is right on here. So let's see. First thing I showed you how to do is to unsilence your phone. And another thing to know about these applets that I'm showing you, these are ones already created by other people. You're not really creating anything. You don't need to know how to program to do this. You're just enabling it on your account. So the first one is tell Alexa to find your phone. All right, so I'm going to turn that on and it needs uh, permissions to access. I'm going to say OK and then I'm going to type in my phone number. Next on IFT, I'm going to show you how to turn the volume all the way up on your phone in case it's on silent when you want to trigger your phone. And so still in the Alexa Amazon choices, we've got unsilence your phone with Amazon Alexa. I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit turn on. And success, simple as that. So now I'm going to put my phone on mute again. Now I'm going to say, Alexa, trigger unsilenced phone. Sending that to IFT. And now my phone is no longer on mute. Next, I'm going to add a spreadsheet of all the songs I've listened to. So in still in here, I'm going to go through and find the spreadsheet. Now you can do this on your computer as well. And it's a little bit easier to search on your computer because you can do a Google search and you can type in if Alexa and then what you want it to do. So I'm going to look for that Google spreadsheet. Here it is. Keep a Google spreadsheet of all the songs I've listened to on Alexa. And I'm going to hit turn on. And it says success. And then you want to, then there are some parameters that you want. So it's add a row to a spreadsheet. The name of the spreadsheet is songs played, formatted row, and then the folder path. So you can change all of this um, before you need to get it, 
you can change all of this before you start recording your songs. But I like the default, so I'm going to just stick with the default. And that's going to continue working. And then last but not least, uh, my shopping list. Let's keep on going down the list and let's keep on going down these applets and find the one for your shopping list. Tell Alexa to email me my shopping list. Hit turn on. And then I can see, send an email. So I need to type in my email address right here. Done. And that is email my shopping list to me. And those are the three things that we did on IFT with Alexa today. So try those at home and see what other applets, there, there are more and more applets every day. Enable them, see what's useful to you and let me know. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you next time.